greetings all and welcome to purple trades today in technical analysis we are going to talk about one more very very popular indicator after completing lesson 1 to lesson 40 a lot of you have requested me about this particular indicator so i had to create a video on this so today we are going to talk about an important indicator called as vwap in this video we will be talking about what is vwap and how it is calculated what is the difference between VWAP and normal volume? Also, we will check the difference between VWAP and normal moving average. And using technical indicator VWAP, how can you enter and exit in intraday trades? So let's get started. Let's understand first VWAP. So VWAP is an abbreviation for volume weighted average price. That means this particular indicator takes in account the price and volume both and gives us a volume weighted average price. Unlike normal average, VWAP is based upon both price and volume. If you compare it with any other average like say moving average, say EMA or SMA or any other moving average, there you basically have only price and the period and you get the moving average of last x period but in case of vwap we take in picture both price as well as volume so the formula to calculate vwap is vwap is equal to sum of number of shares bought that is volume into share price that is the actual stock price divided by total shares bought in that particular time frame and when we are considering price we consider price is equal to high plus low plus close divided by 3. We basically take average price into consideration and this is how VWAP is calculated. Now to explain you how VWAP is different from any other moving average, let us do a quick comparison of VWAP versus simple moving average. Suppose if I have to calculate simple moving average of a particular script, let us say here is an instance. Let us say in the first 15 minutes of script X, these were the transactions. So in the first 5 minutes, A bought 100 shares of 100 shares at 10 rupees. In the next 5 minutes, B bought 300 shares at 8 rupees. And then C bought 200 shares at 11 rupees. But when we calculate SMA, we don't calculate how much quantity A, B and C have respectively bought. We just see what is the price 10, 8 and 11 respectively. So the SMA of 5 minutes candle would be 10 plus 8 plus 11 divided by 3 and that is 9.66. Whereas when we calculate VWAP, we have to consider that the highest shares were bought by B that is 300 shares at 8 rupees. That means the maximum position that is open is at 8 rupees rather than on 10 rupees or on 11 rupees. So, 8 should be given comparatively more importance than 10 and 11. And among 10 and 11, 11 should be given more importance because at 11 rupees 200 shares were bought, but at 10 rupees only 100 shares were bought. So, VWAP will be calculated as 100 into 10, that is 100 shares bought at 10 rupees. 300 shares bought at 8 rupees, 200 shares bought at 11 rupees, divided by all the shares combined, that is 100 plus 300 plus 200, and VWAP becomes 9.33. So, on one hand side, we have SMA, that is moving average. So, the average price according to simple moving average is 9.66. But when we introduce the concept of volume, the actual average price is 9.33. Now, how does this look on the chart? Let us talk about that as well. So, VWAP does not work on daily time frame. If you check daily or weekly or monthly or any other bigger time frame, it will not work. VWAP is a pure intraday indicator. It will work only on intraday charts and works really well on 5 minutes and 15 minutes time frame. It is available with most of the broker platform as a default indicator. For example, if I take you to Zerodha terminal and open a chart, on the chart, I'll go to studies. On studies, I'll search VWAP. 
So I have two types of wave app. Let us start with simple wave app that is VWAP. And the moment I click on this, a wave app line that is a red color line will be plotted. Now this red color line looks somewhat similar to moving average, but it is not moving average, rather it is volume weighted average price. Also to show you that it does not work on daily time frame, I'll just go to say 1D time frame that is daily time frame. You will see there is no wave app plotting. If I go to weekly, there is no wave app again. But if I come to intraday time frames, say hourly, you will see a red color wave app or maybe say 15 minutes, you will again see wave app and again coming back to this 5 minutes chart, you will see wave app clearly. So as I said, wave app is available with most of the brokers as a default indicator. Now how do you enter and exit based upon wave app? So here are the trading rules. You buy when a candle crosses wave app from down to top. Whenever a candle is crossing wave app from down to top, you are going to initiate a trade on the opening of next candle. Similarly, you will short when a candle crosses wave app from top to bottom. So whenever you see a candle crossing wave app from top to bottom on the next candle, you will initiate a short. Now, usually keeping open target and SL is suggested in such system because here when we have caught a proper entry, we want to catch end to end rally. So that is the reason we prefer keeping targets and stop loss as empty. That means there won't be any target or stop loss. The stop loss will be the reversal itself. And this performs really well. The strategy performs really well on high beta stocks and volatile scripts. The days when the market is volatile or if you're performing on scripts like Adani Ports, India Bulls Housing Finance, or any high beta stock, this will give you really good results. As you can see, there is this red color line as VWAP. If I zoom in, now in the morning, here, this green color candle has crossed VWAP towards upside. So basically, this is indicating that we should buy. And if you buy here, well, buy did not work very well. Again, market came down. And when the market came down, it gave a short signal here which again did not work well, again it gave you a buy, which did not work well, but then it gave you a short, which worked pretty well and you got end to end rally. However, here you can add a lot of filters. These filters can help you prevent yourself from whipsaws. For example, if a candle is going above VWAP, you should buy only when the green color candle is closing above VWAP and at the high of this particular candle. So you will be buying somewhere here and you can keep the target open and stop loss open. Now where will the stop loss get triggered? Stop loss will get triggered when a red color candle is closing below VWAP. So a red color candle closing below VWAP would be somewhere here, right? So this is where the red color candle is closing below VWAP. So you will short at the low of this candle somewhere here. and keep the target open again as said. Now similarly, if I want to show you on some other chart, maybe say Reliance. So this is how the chart performs. We did not get an opportunity to enter in the Reliance. Usually avoid taking entry on the first candle because on the first candle, you will see VWAP giving a crossover every single day. Every single day you will see VWAP giving you a crossover. Avoid taking an entry on the first candle. Suppose if I go back to the previous day, on this particular day, on this day, if I had to take an entry, the entry would have been somewhere here, where this red candle is closing below VWAP at the low of this candle. So at the low of this candle somewhere here, we would have done a short and kept it as such. Similarly, if I go in the past and check the entry, the buy entry would be somewhere here at the high of this candle. At the high of this candle, we'll buy here. But then as soon as we buy, after a while, we get our stop loss triggered. We enter a short, then we again had to enter a buy and then it, w it went up, Then, but finally it came down again. So overall, VWAP gives you profit only if the market is trending. This is a basic indicator. I'm not teaching you any profitable strategy here. I'm just teaching you how this indicator works. You can combine this indicator with multiple other indicators to build a profitable system. 
Now what I have done is I have built the same system on AMI broker also. I'll just show you how it looks like on AMI broker. So this is how it looks like on AMI broker. For example, I have this share called as HDFC Live. Today there was one buy here and it is still going on. But if I go back, you will see there was a buy, then there was a short. Buy had a small stop loss, short worked a little bit well. Then if I go back, then I go back. There are days when the market has having whipsaws, you will generate a lot of entries, a short, a long, a short and a long and none of that would give you profit. But then again, there are days when the market is trending in only one direction and you will make good money. For example, on April 6, there was a small short immediately turned into buy and gave you amazing profits. If you just have to work only on VWAP, no targets, no stop loss, only entries and exits and reversals based upon only VWAP. Here are the backtest results of VWAP. Only VWAP on Nifty 100 stocks in the last 6 months has given you a return of 103% excluding brokerage and taxes. So even such small indicator with discipline can give you money but it is always recommended to include VWAP with any other indicator and build a concrete system. Coming back to our topic, the backtest report that I have just shown you, here were the inputs. We have taken a leverage of 5x, brokerage we have considered as 0.06% on the turnover and this was the result. 1 lakh invested became 2 lakh 6007 that is giving you 106% returns. Now if you like this strategy or if you want to test out this AFL, we are giving out this AFL free of cost if you open an account in either Fires or Zerodha with us. And this AFL is also compatible with AlgoFox API Bridge for automation as well. So if you want to do automation or want to backtest this strategy, you can open an account with us in Zerodha or Fires. If you have already opened an account with our reference, you are eligible for this particular AFL. Just get in touch with our team. Thank you so much for watching this video. Spread knowledge cause it's free and if you like our content, do like this video, subscribe to our channel and share it with your